today I want to show you how I make my own uh, thumb picks. When I go to the music shop, I can usually find a thumb pick that looks like this, and it, it fits fits me good. Uh, a lot of them are too small. I guess I have a large thumb. But anyway, I fi find this one that fits okay, but I don't like the pick end of it because it's too thick. It doesn't hardly bend at all and um, it's actually not long enough. So what I'd like to do is my, my own picks. Now I don't use a flat pick very often but when I do I like one of a certain thickness. I think this is what uh, 90.96 thick. So th this is the this is the pick that I make. It's a thumb pick um, that I've actually glued on a piece of a flat pick to it so I can get the right uh, flexure in it but yet um, it's uh, stiff enough that it holds on to my thumb real well. I use it for guitar and banjo. It's pretty easy to make so what you do you uh, um, you want to first we're going to cut off the end of the pick um, pair of scissors, a sharp pair of scissors, I made a mark there and uh, just cut them off like because pretty easy with scissors so now you're, you're left with a square edge but you don't want a square edge so you want to you want to feather that edge to a sharp point and that's because uh, with a sharp edge it will tend to break right there so just I use my wife's uh, nail file and just file that uh, to a, a sharp, sharp straight edge. Okay, so you can see here that I've filed it down to a nice sharp edge, and that gives you a transition from a from the pick into the flat pick so it won't, won't break. So now I'm going to glue this on to the flat pick and I'm going to use super glue. So I want to basically I want to mark it how long I want it to be and I'll probably make it this same length as my other one which I like. Make it any length you want really. And you want to take a pencil Take a pencil and just kind of mark where you want it to be. And then we're going to super glue it on. And you might have to do this a few times, a few picks to get, get it down right. Um, you want to put not too much, but just not too little super glue on it all the way across and then I'm gonna set this down on my pick and it won't take very long for it to stick now if you look you want a little bit of glue along the edge because that helps in the make it uh, that helps it uh, stay together longer so I'm going to let that dry just like that
I had to wipe off a I had a little bit too much glue so I had to wipe it off with a paper towel it's probably better to have too much glue than too little and but what you really want to be sure is that you have a seam of glue across the the face of it here because that's where there's a lot of stress so we want to let that dry now that the pick is dried I, you know if you're a guitarist only and you you just like to thumb pick that's one way you can just leave it on there like it is but for me I like to um, I like to shape it like this so I'll just take a pair of scissors and cut along the side and trim it back seems to chip rather than cut very well but then you just take your your fingernail file and smooth up the edges around it and put on the profile that you like on the tip Let's smooth it all the way around maybe if you have a fine file that works better for this So well, that's my pick. Not quite finished yet, but pretty much like the one I like to use.